Foxes, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a, a long time since I've kind of been like actively on YouTube. Um, I kind of like talked on Snapchat about why, uh, but in short, um, uh, Arctic Fox is growing and we're hiring a handful of new people and that um, in the interim leaves me with lots and lots of jobs. So I'm wearing lots of different hats, interviewing like crazy. I've never looked at so many resumes in my entire life. So that's basically what's going on. So as soon as everybody's in their places there, then I will be, I'm gonna still try and keep this, the, the, the videos coming on YouTube. So wish me luck. Um, today's video, we're gonna be going over the It Just Comes Naturally collection by Too Faced. I got this in the mail the other day as a PR package. So yes, this was all sent to me, but this is not a sponsored video. The packaging is so freaking pretty. It reminds me of like the, like a 60s, 50s, kind of like boudoir, like of like a super rich lady or man. I absolutely love the packaging, it's gorgeous. So let's just jump right into this. This is basically an eight piece collection. Um, there are different shades within those eight pieces, but eight pieces in general. And it comes with this handy dandy, super cute little, actually this came in the PR package. I don't know if it comes anywhere else, but so this has all the information we need to know about everything here. And after we kind of go over this, I am going to show you how I created this makeup tutorial while we use the new products that I have in front of me. So let's just start, first things first, let's start with the Sun Bunny, um, this is the Sun Bunny Radiant Duo Bronzer. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's really, really cool. It just reminds me of vintage. And it's got a little heart right there to open it. Um, so this is actually what I have on right now. And this is infused with coconut butter. So it melts into the skin. So it's supposed to like melt into the skin really nicely. And I'm gonna be looking down at the sheet right now because I don't wanna miss anything. So it's got a slight pink undertone to mimic the flush of a real tan. I do really like the shade here. It's not too warm, but it's also not too like cool. So a lot of different skin tones could wear this and build it up and it should work really nicely. Then we've got the Chocolate Soule bronzer, which comes in the same packaging, but we've got three different shades here. So you've got kind of a more um, reddish, pinkish, darker one, a deeper one, and then you've got a really nice, this one's good too, like a lot of different skin tones could wear this. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's kind of right in the middle. I just realized that the name is like in here. I'm like looking for it. Okay, so the first one I showed you guys was um, dark chocolate, which is right here. And these are completely matte. There's absolutely no shimmer in them, which I really like. And the next one is chocolate matte. And then the lightest one that we have here is milk chocolate. That definitely wouldn't work as a bronzer for me right now, but maybe when I'm um, a little bit more pale. This says it is the same, um, same iconic uh, formula, new package, and it's infused with 100% real cocoa powder as well, which you can definitely smell in these for sure. It's not too overpowering though. Next we have the Natural Face Palette. This is quite like a heavy um, package too, so maybe it's not the best one to travel with, but this is such a cool packaging. I love how it like kind of bubbles out. That's kind of what reminds me of like the 60s and 50s about it. Um, and if you open it up, looks like this. So over here you get two kind of duochromatic um, highlights here, and then you get you get two blushes, and then you get two bronzers. So you're pretty much covered with anything you want to do here. I don't love this shade. This is the only one that I'm kind of like, eh, I could have gone with a little less of a pink one and more of like a version of this or this. So that one's a bit pink for me, but I also like that they kind of threw it in there because a lot of people do love to wear that shade. I am not one of them, especially with his hair right now. But um, you could also cocktail these two together, which I think would tone down the pink and still give you a completely different shade. That's what I did here. I actually cocktailed these guys together. Um, so that's this palette. This one is also infused with the coconut butter for hydrating comfortable wear. Next we have the Natural Eyes Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. It's in the same kind of packaging here and then you open it up and you've got um, some larger pans here and then these guys. They say that this is a modern revamp of their iconic Natural Eyes Palette. So it seems like this is just revamped but these are the same shades. So if you have that palette, then you should already have these. I miss these. I am, 
I'm super into the print that has been, what is that? Why can't I come up with that? Um, I am super into how these have been pressed. Like the design on there is like really pretty. It kind of looks like lace or something. So this is a really pretty palette. I did use this one today as well. Um, and let's move on. Next, we have the Natural Matte Palette. And you open it up and you've got the same pan layout here. And this one says it has seven brand new modern shades and two classic shades. So seven are, all, I unfortunately don't know which are which is which. I don't know which ones are new and which ones are classic. Uh, so maybe, you know, if you do leave it in the comments below. Um, this is rich pigmented eyeshadows offer one swipe payoff. Exclusive coconut butter infused formula for comfortable wear. So it kind of seems like that is the theme here. There's coconut butter and everything for a seamless blend and um, hydrate, a hydrating formula. Lastly, we have the lipsticks, which we've got 10 shades here and most of them are nude. And then we've got some deeper ones right here. They're sticking together because they were in the PR package like that. So. Ugh, I'll do some swatches of these for you guys on my hand, but let's just take a look at the packaging on one of these. This one, I feel like you can see it the best. It looks like lace, so it kind of ties back to the same exact, actually it might even be the same exact formula. Yeah, it is the same exact formula that is pressed into all of the pans. So, and it continues on the bullet here, and then it's more of a rounded shape for the lipstick. Oh, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. There we go. It's more of a rounded shape, so you're not getting that pointed uh, bit here. And that's really cute. So I'm gonna go through and swatch these um, from lightest to darkest for you. But before I do, um, this also has the coconut butter inside of it. It's richly, richly pigmented for intense one swipe color payoff, comfortable moisturizing formula for luscious, kissable lips. There is no way you can beat them. My partner's in crime. Dogs in every flying bullet. They are filling up the air. Couldn't catch us there now, could you? Dogs in every flying bullet. Can't prepare yourself for us. There is nothing to discuss. Goodness, I don't think you guys have ever seen me without extensions on with my real peach fuzz hair. This is my hair in all of its glory. We've got kind of a mullet thing going on here. This front part has not grown in so long. So working on getting that nice and grown out so I don't have like the mullet I had when I was five years old. You feel me? So um, I'm gonna do my eyes first as usual because I don't like to worry about any fallout on my face. Um, so let's start with that. I'm just taking the Bye Bye Under Eye It Cosmetics Concealer. It's this one, what is this? Bye Bye Under Eye Concealing Pot. And just laying this down. Oh, there we go. I need some water, it's so freaking hot today in Carlsbad, oh my goodness. Just gonna take a little bit of the Peach Perfect, that's the wrong side of the cap. Let's try that again. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Too Faced Peach Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I have not filmed a tutorial in so long, like how do I live? Like I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Why are you even here watching me? I don't really know. If you are, hats off to you. Thank you so much for caring enough to sit through this bullshit. Just going to set that on top. Not too much, but just a little bit. This is an awesome brush for setting. This is a Morphe E48 brush. You like that? She came to join us today. She wanted to, she didn't want to miss out on any of the fun. First, I'm gonna be going in with um, All Naturel right here, and then I'm gonna be going in with this guy right there. And I'm gonna be taking a Royal and Langnickel crease brush and I'm going in with All Naturel and Cleavage at the same time. And I'm just going to start carving out my crease. I'm just gonna wing this out a little bit. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. Like, I just like started. You ever do that where you just like don't even know what you're doing with your makeup? You're just like, okay, this is gonna go here. 
And then usually I end up looking like a crazy clown, but it's okay. As long as I had fun doing it, it's all that really matters. Going over to a Royal and Ling Nickel Small Eye Shader Brush. I am going to be going in <clears throat> with, let's see, right here. Risky Biz and Hookup right here. So I'm gonna mix these two together just to kind of give this a little bit of depth. Wow, that's pigmented. There's not a lot of kickback, but that is really, really pigmented. This just got me real nervous. So I'm gonna copy Sandra Deluxe when she did my makeup, which is on her channel. And I am going to start placing this on the outer edge here and just kind of working it into the lash line and then taking it out a little bit. Wish me luck though, because Sandra is a freaking wizard with makeup. I have tried to do my makeup like her so many times and I get so frustrated because it never turns out for me. I don't know, she's just so gifted. Going back to my fluffy brush just to kind of diffuse this out. This is all going on really nicely. I'm really enjoying the pigment on this. I'll be honest, like not every Too Faced palette that I've grabbed, probably like a year ago or so, like I've grabbed a few that I wasn't super, super pleased with the payoff. Um, these, beautiful, really nice. You know what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna pop over to the Natural Face palette, which has some different blush, contouring, and highlight shades. These are both these really, well, this is kind of, these are like bronzy, I guess. This is kind of like a highlight bronzer blush kind of in one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab um, Satin Sheets right here. It's a really pretty like duochromatic, like peach, light peach and like a gold. Um, if you can see that, it's really pretty. So we're actually gonna use that on the eyes right now. All right, grabbing some of the Satin Sheet. Eyeshadow because it's way more pigmented than I expected it to be. I'm just kind of laying this over top, but mostly towards the inner corner of the eye. I am going back to my other brush and just reinforcing this one last time. Heading over to the Natural Eyes palette. This one has a little bit more of the shimmer shades in it. Um, actually, they're all pretty much shimmer except for these top guys, which look like a satin. I'm gonna take Push Up right here. And it's just this kind of like really nice, like brownish kind of nude shimmer shade. And I'm just gonna pop that on right where the darker shade and this guy meet up. Who said you can't wear metallics in the crease? Never do that again, Kristen, okay. <laughs> I literally have zero fallout underneath my eyes. That's pretty magical. I literally don't have any. So we're just gonna go ahead and um, put the base on and uh, I'll be right back. Going back to the darker shades that we used on the outside here, I am just going to Continue these on the lower outer lash line. I'm gonna go back to the face palette and grab satin sheets again, and I'm just going to place this over top. My whole face was not focused. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna place this on the inner corner and over top. Moving on to the Sun Bunny Radiant Duo Tone Bronzer. It's got, looks like this one's like more of a matte and this one's a little bit more shimmery. These really nice complimentary shades. I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring with this. I'm gonna take an Urban Decay, um, what is this? Urban Decay Large Powder Brush and just swirl this around in here. Okay, <laughs> that's real pigmented. That's so pretty. Even though I like put on a lot, it like didn't stay in one spot, you know, it like diffused out really nicely. Going back to the face palette for highlight before blush, I'm gonna actually go back and forth between these two and just, whew, 
I got like the scent of these, which is like a like a florally, almost like a lingerie drawer kind of scent. Ooh, that's really pretty. These are good in the fact that they're not like, whoa, highlight, because I've kind of lately been into the like lighter highlight look, um, just for some looks, not, not all looks, but for a while there, I wasn't like doing any light highlight at all. And I've been kind of getting into that it literally tastes like sugar in my mouth. I'm gonna stop talking while I do this. This is so pretty. It just like melts into the skin too. Together, those are just like a dream. And for blush, I'm gonna go in like this. Boop, boop, boop. Swirl it around. Ugh, this highlight though is so freaking beautiful. I'm gonna line my lips with Flower Beauty's lip liner in beige because this um, collection didn't come with a lip liner and I have very small little upper lip that is not shaped the way that I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna correct it with this. That's a lot lighter than I expected it to be. Okay. Scratch that. Okay, I'm gonna try NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in Vanilla, Vanilla Sky, yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Now for lips, I'm gonna be going in with Send Nudes. This is such pretty packaging, I really love it. It's pretty well thought out. Ooh. Initially loving the formula that's going on because it's like moisturizing, but it's not like shiny, which I really like. I don't like love shiny lipstick. Like if I want that to be shiny, then I will put lip gloss on, you know what I'm saying? But this is really nice. It's gliding on, it feels really hydrating and it's not too shiny. I'm gonna do my hair off camera and we'll be back. Here is the final look with my hair and everything. I have a tutorial coming up at the end of the month where I show you my hair coloring routine as well as how to put like in my extensions, my clip-ins. So stay tuned for that, it'll be on Instagram. But um, la uh, final thoughts on this collection. I am actually really impressed. Usually with a collection, there is like a hero product and then there's some other stuff that's like eh but I truly and thoroughly really liked working with everything that I used. I'm like looking at it on my desk here. Um, the lipsticks feel really hydrating. I've now had this on for like, I wanna say 30 minutes. My lips feel really good. It really hasn't moved. It kinda got on my teeth a little bit, but that was my fault for not doing the little trick. But it feels really smooth, um, hydrating. It went on really nicely. The pigmentation is really good. Um, the bronzer really just, the bronzer, the eyeshadows, the blush, everything and the highlight just like really melted into the skin um, as you would expect coconut butter to do. So super impressed with everything. The pigment was on point. Um, it was definitely buildable, but there was still a good base of pigment there. So I really love this collection overall. I think it's a home run. They really, really hit it out of the park with this. So if you are debating getting something from this collection, I would definitely suggest it. I think that it is great for um, anybody, no matter how, uh, if, if you're a novice at makeup or you're really good at it, I feel like you can just take this and use it and it's just, it's gonna work to your advantage. Like it's gonna work really well. So that that's my opinion of the collection. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you have your eye on it? I, I, like you only have one. Do you have your eye, your one Cyclops eye on any products from this collection? Let me know, let me know what you think about how it applied and everything. We'll chat in the comments and while you're here, you might as well just watch my next video that's on screen right now. I love you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will chat with you guys in the comments, bye.